Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I am going to be talking about the power sheets and cultivate what matters. I have been wanting power sheets for like two years so I'm really excited I finally caved in and bought some during their Black Friday sale. So I'm going to show you what I purchased from them and kind of what my plans are for this planner. So I'm going to start with some of the accessories that I got. So first off, I got this bookmark. It will snap right into the power sheet. So I thought that this would be really helpful to keep on the tending list page. It came with this cute little card. This is their 10th anniversary. So there's a couple special things um, about that. Next up, I did get the wild card pages. This came with, I got like one of the small bundle, bundles with this and the sticker book. So this is basically, you just get a bunch of these sheets. I'll show you the different ones. So that's the first one. I think that these are designed to use quarterly. So you could do, cause there's four of them. So you can add these in to a couple different spots in the power sheets. So that is Year at a Glance. If you're not familiar, the power sheets are, it's like a goal setting system. And I don't want to say planner, it's more of a tool, a goal setting tool. Um, so we get a perpetual calendar. Oh, a fun list. Oh, a couple fun lists. I love that. Again, we got four of those. Organization and decluttering. What to read next. And so these are just some sheets that you can add in to some the tabs or dividers or wherever you want of the power sheets. So I just wanted to flip through quickly what all of these look like. And we get two financial check-ins, it looks like. Go to meals and dinners. Oh, this is nice, because this is gonna be a goal, I think, for routines next year. And we're getting to the end here. This should go a little quicker, because this is the not as exciting part, if you will. But those are the wild card pages that came with it. Next up, I have the goal setting sticker book. So let's take a look at this. So we get some flowers, some quote stickers, gold foil seems to be the color, some washi strips. These are pretty. I've seen these before. I think that's their typical pattern. And then there is a color coding system. So I can talk more about that when we get into the actual power sheets. But this, is this you basically assign each goal a different color so that you can do all of these different things with that. And I think these were all circles. Yep, these two pages were circles. And then this page has hearts. So instead of little dots, these are, let me pick this color up little hearts. Cute. And you do get extra colors, so you don't necessarily need to use them all. And sorry, I'm getting over a little cold, so I'm a bit congested. These are more, these are like, I think they, they really encourage you to use these stickers when you're doing your prep work and like to just use them. Don't you know, sit around and, and hoard them like we like to do. But I'm excited to use these when I'm working through the prep work. And we have some gold quotes. So that was the sticker book. And now let's get into the power sheets. So they come in this beautiful box this year. The color matches with the color of the planner that I got, which I'm going to keep calling it a planner, but I guess it's not technically a planner. And here she is. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. This is literally my first time actually opening this and feeling this. Oh, I love the feeling of the cover. Let's just make sure you're in a good shot here. But let's open her up. So we have my word of the year. This is a cute little card you could put right on your desk. There is a pocket folder in here. Your best year. Oh, this is just some information on kind of how to get started. And I don't want to go into too much detail with this. You probably all are familiar. You can see full flip throughs. Um, but basically, let's make sure you're in shot here. 
Oh, you know what? I think these are the ones that Lakin, if you don't follow Plan with Lakin, she's where, she she really is the one that has inspired me to get these. And I think she said that they recommend that you just rip this page out and use it all within the prep work. So I love that we get some more stickers. And then, so basically this whole first chunk. So we're at page five through 53 is all like prep work. So it's all stuff that you should do before the beginning of the year to figure out what goals you want to prioritize this year. So there's lots of different prompts and questions and things to rate yourself and talking about what worked last year, what didn't work last year, what do I want, what's my big picture. Again, you really can see more detailed flip throughs. I would highly recommend Plan with Lakin. I know Plan with Elise also has some Power Sheets content. I love her channel. Um, so definitely check that out. I don't really want to go deep into detail with this, but that kind of gives you a rough idea of what the prep work looks like. And you're just kind of working on what you want your goals to be and how to use this system. Okay. So then, and I do want to show you this because this is what I was talking about with the wildcard pages. Sometimes they actually have sheets like this where these wildcards that it came with, you can, you know, tape it in or put some washi tape on here and just have this be in here. I think Lakin also says that they recommend that you put it on like this side of the tab because there's nothing there. So you could put some here. So I'm excited to kind of see what, what those are about too. So up until here, we have picked our annual goals. Now we have a section for each month. So each month has a beautiful quote. And this is where I'll go into detail if you're interested in the power sheets. So um, this is the same for every month. So we have some prep for the month. You do get a monthly calendar here. Um, I'm not sure yet how I'll use these. I may map out if there's a deadline that I want for a specific goal or if there's a, you know, a date that I want to work on a specific goal. I think that's my plan right now. Some more things to read and, and prep. And then this is the spot where you can kind of brainstorm how you're going to break down your annual goals for this month. So you have spots for monthly action items, weekly, and daily. So I'm really excited about this. This is this is the page. I think Lincoln called it in one of her videos, the bread and butter of the power sheets. So this is the page that I'm the most excited about. It is, what's it called, perforated or something like that. So you could rip it out and just have this in front of you. I want to um, keep it in here. And I think I want to try, this is where, oh wait, actually, let me raise it up. This is where I want the bookmark to be. So let's see how, oh yeah, because it sticks above, not above the cover, but I can easily grab that and it'll turn right to this page. I love bookmarks like that. Like I have a ton for my happy planner here that I use. So this is the bread and butter. This is where you'll come in each day to check in with your goals. And don't you fret, I'll have lots of videos coming up where I will kind of talk more about what my goals are and how I'm using all these pages. You do have a section to review how that month went, and then you go to the next month, which February is exactly the same, March is exactly the same, and now in April, we have a quarterly refresh. So this is now going into quarter two, so you have a little bit of extra prep work to figure out what you want quarter two to look like. And this is where you can put the annual goals. I think this is where... Lakin said in the past they've had another page in here where you can kind of have a specific goal just for quarter two. That's how I plan to use this. So my overall annual goal will be something like budgeting. And quarter one goal will be to set up a budget routine. And quarter two goal will be, you know, implement this into the budget routine and pay off debt or something like that. So the quarterly goals can narrow it down a little bit more, and then monthly you can narrow it down even more. I think that's what my plan is. So again, this is kind of the quarterly prep work. Again, room to just brain dump and break it all down. And then you go into the normal 
monthly stuff for April. Same thing for May. Oh, I guess I should show you the divider, shouldn't I? I'll do that quick. So that is February, March. So it's just a clean color with some quotes. I love a good motivational quote. And this is where we are, right? June and July, you get quarter three refresh. So that's the same thing as April. Okay, this is August divider, September, October, you do get a quarterly refresh again, November and December. And then let's see what's at the back here. Oh, it's not too much. So you just have kind of a year in review and there's some prompts here for what you should kind of be writing about and thinking about. And then this is when you'll be excited to move into the next year of the power sheets. So I am super excited about this. I think this is the one thing I've heard about this planner, the, the what's it called? The um, binding is a little bit of a pain. Let's see, I think I'm gonna have to flip back this way. Um, oh yeah, it's a little bit tough, but I won't typically be trying to flip the whole planner, right? So hopefully that won't be too annoying, but I am super excited about these and all of the accessories that I've gotten along with it. Now, stay tuned for um, some, more co some more information, some more videos um, with the power sheets because I want to do, we're going to figure out my word of the year. We're going to look at my annual goals. We're going to look at my January tending list. And so I'm really excited and inspired by Plan with Lakin to really show this process and show the journey. Um, that really inspired me. So I am hoping to do that for all of you and just kind of show you a little bit more in depth about how I'm using these power sheets. But stay tuned for lots more videos and my 2022 lineup to see all of the planners that I'm using for this year. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.